Hello, welcome to episode number six of Tree Survival Series. Welcome on everybody, hope you're all well, and nice to see you back for episode number six. Um, as you might have seen in the last episode, we were out gathering diamonds uh, down in our mine shaft, which we'll just go around the back here. And we were able to get 15 on the actual video. Uh, for those that were fortunate enough to check out the live stream, we went all the way down there. And we actually came out from the live stream having a little bit more. So you can catch live streams on YouTube uh, and also on Twitch. However, the survival series will be exclusive to YouTube. So you can catch the content over here. So, a couple of things to address before we begin today's episode. The diamond situation. We now have 40 diamonds. Ooh. With having 40 diamonds, we now have enough to create all of our key tools and armor to help us in the long game. So that's our plan for today. We're going to go through making a lot of our diamond armor. A lot of our diamond tools, and we're going to begin talking about the basics of enchanting. However, there is something we need to address first. Up there in the top corner, uh, in your top right, is my death counter. You might see that it's currently set to 1. Unfortunately, on the live stream, we did have a death. We went down into the mines looking for additional diamonds, and we got a bit of a sticky situation with skeletons. So, unfortunately, our death counter is now at 1. So, by looking at our little stats, we can go into um, statistics through the menu. Uh, we're going to kind of scroll down. There's a lot of sort of the main stats in here you can have a look at, um, in regards to sort of how many things you've done, how many mobs you've killed. However, down here, you may identify the number of deaths is now equal to one. Yeah. We did our best. We did our best. So we did actually eventually survive 46 days without dying. <laughs> Definitely would not advise that in your own worlds is to go out exploring in the caves for too long, uh, especially for, you know, if you're going down not that well prepared. We only have some iron uh, chest plate. We had an iron helmet. We didn't really have anything else. Um, and we, we kind of got caught with about, I think it was three skeletons. Eventually two skeletons shot us and we had no chance of escape. So, yeah, don't do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through taking our diamonds and upgrading all of our tools and armor today. And then we're going to talk about the basics of enchanting. So enchanting is one of those things in the game that you'll probably want to do very early on. And you may have heard this terminology used before. So enchanting gives you the ability on your tools, let me grab some wood first, uh, to basically give them different abilities. Now I'm doing here, I'm going to grab some sticks so I can make some more new tools. And I'm actually going to get rid of all the other tools because we'll probably no longer need any of those now that we have our diamonds. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little moment here to make the tools in our crafting table. So let's just go for the first ones here. So when you go into the crafting table, initially, you'll see all of your key resources. So let's just go for the, the tools first. So we'll start off with our diamond pickaxe. Now, normally within Minecraft, I would typically be playing with two pickaxes. We'll explain that why in a later episode and certainly maybe talk about it briefly during this one as well. So first thing we're going to do diamond pickaxe is two stick, three diamonds. So we'll take one of those, that's one. We'll take our diamond axe, three diamonds, two sticks. We're gonna take our shovel, two sticks, one diamond. And you can see where we're going, hoe, two and two. And lastly, we're going to take our sword. So we have our sword, we have our axe, we have our pickaxe, we have our shovel, and we have our hoe, and that's gonna be our key primary tools that we're gonna take forward in the remainder of the game. There are things that we're gonna to do to them all along the way, including enchanting and netherite, stuff we'll talk about in later episodes, but these here are certainly gonna be the most efficient tools. They're gonna cause the most damage, and they're also gonna last longer than any of your previous predecessors, including iron, gold, um, or wood. So we want to be getting diamond as soon as possible. And that's why we've done this episode earlier uh, to try and get diamonds, and why I streamed it as well, is because it was just really key for us to get more resources. And the diamonds are a little bit easier to say, get your hands on, I think, because obviously the caves are so open now, it does give us the ability to get more quicker. So here we have our diamond helmet, our diamond chest plate, our diamond leggings, and our diamond boots. And again, if we just start at the beginning, we should have our diamond helmet. We'll do our chest plate. We'll do our leggings. And if I've done my math correct, we should have our diamond boots. There we go, perfect. And that's now left me 
with five diamonds as spares. Um, and I'm going to keep those in our chest for now. They're, they're going to remain in here. They are spares uh, for, you know, if we break our diamond pickaxe, we do have the ability to have one more. Uh, if we were to break any others, we do have some additional diamonds. So if you're playing this on a survival world by yourself, my recommendation would normally be try and get as many diamonds as you can. Uh, you know, if possible, try and grab, you know, more than what you have here for later on because you might end up breaking them. So one of the techniques we're going to show you today, though, is how we can reduce those from breaking and talk about some of the more efficient ways of using our tools. And that's through enchanting. Now, interestingly, I will need one of these diamonds. And if we just go to our crafting table and if I just type in into the search bar, enchant, it won't actually come up yet. But the one thing we're looking for is we're looking to get an enchanted table. However, to do that, we need obsidian. Obsidian can be gathered in the nether, and it can also be gathered by looking at uh, lava pits um, and also going down to the, the basement level, let's call it the now, uh, of the world, you know, whether that's in fortresses or strongholds and caves. You know, there, there's lots of areas down below that we have the ability to get our obsidian. Right, so for us to begin any form of enchanting, that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to go into our cave, we're going to head on down with a bucket and some water, and we need to try and get our hands on at least maybe three pieces of obsidian to help us with a little bit of enchanting. So let's take our brand new tools, let's put on our brand new armor, and let's go down to the cave and gather our next resources. All right, now you join us again there in our cave. Now we have been here for all of our diamonds previously and on the live stream, so you might recognize this. And what we need to get is we need to get some obsidian to help us build an enchanting table. Because by using an enchanting table, we can start to put these different enchants onto our weapons to make them better and more efficient and last longer. So that's what I try and do just now is just get some of the basics of that. It won't be perfect for now. However, I'll just be able to cover the basics with you so we can plan that in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be able to pop down a block of water and what we'll do is that will cover up this lava here and turn it into obsidian. Just gather our water bucket back. There, there we go. We have some obsidian. So all we're going to have to do is we're going to have to mine down now, but there is a little bit of precaution to be made here. Although you have covered the top level here, uh, always just be careful that the bottom level might not still be as obsidian. It only takes the top level. So it is something to just be a little bit careful of, is when you are mining your lava, uh, well, mining over lava, I should say, you still need to be very, very careful. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to mine a few of these now. So I'll just pop it into a little bit of a time lapse so you can see me do this. There we go, got one. But hopefully over the next sort of minute or two, I'll mine this and I'll catch you back on the surface. All right, let's welcome ourselves back to our home nice and safe again. Right, so actually what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our enchanting table and just talk about why we need it. Now you might have noticed in the uh, achievements when we got our obsidian before, it now unlocked the enchantment table. So if we now type enchanting once more, it is there. And you might notice that with some of the uh, available slots in your crafting bench, is you won't be able to see the recipe until you have the ingredients to be able to make it. So once we got obsidian, that then became available for us to see. So once you select it, what you can see here is we can use is four pieces of obsidian, a book, and two diamonds. So right now we have the obsidian, and we have our diamond. So if we just do the exact numbers, one, two, three, four, put them in there, we need two diamonds, one, two, and we also finally need a book. So this is gonna come all the way back to our sugar cane uh, that we had earlier in our, in our series that why do we need sugarcane so if we want to enchant we need a book so we need to get paper so one of the things we've actually been doing if i can find the right chest there is there we have been gathering sugarcane so let's just show, show an example once more so we take our sugarcane that we've been growing and what we can do is if i just go into the inventory we place three pieces of sugarcane and it creates three bits of paper so if we just do all of that and turn it all into paper 
we now have an absolute ton of paper. Oh, I always do this. We'll sort out the sorting system in the future. <laughs> there we go. So we have some paper. But to turn it into a book, we're going to need some leather. And as you can see from our chest here, yeah, we, we don't have any leather. So this is going to be the first time we actually need to go into our cows over here. So the cows, as well as dropping meat, wow, they're loud. If you want to turn down the game music, we can go to sounds, uh, friendly creatures, and we'll turn them down a little bit. That's a little bit better. We can hear ourselves think now. This is something we're going to fix in the future. We are going to make this a little bit more efficient. Uh, but we need to get into this pen. We need to kill a few of these different cows. Now, obviously, doing it with a sword will swipe, and it'll swipe right across the herd here. Uh, if you use a diamond axe like this, you can hit one singular as one motion. It's not a swiping motion. So it's whatever you think is best. So we could do one, two, three. So something like that, again, gives us two leather, three raw beef, and that saves us having to swipe through the, the actual horde of cows here. If you use a pickaxe, it can sometimes be a little bit more efficient. If we just give an example with a sword, you can see there that I actually hit about three or four of them, which isn't the best way to do it. So where possible, I normally use an axe, and we just swipe down on one, and that just takes out one from the crowd. Right, that was a little bit noisy. But actually, we'll make that a little bit more efficient in the future. So let's just come back to our food here. So let's just take out all of the raw beef. We don't need that just now. And we have our one leather. So by taking that over to our crafting bench, we can now create our book. So our book is three paper, which is one sugar cane. Uh, well, three sugar cane makes three paper. So that's just got that here. And we have one leather. And that's our book. Perfect, there we go. So a new recipe has been unlocked, but we can now have our diamonds, our obsidian, and our book, and now craft our very first enchanting table. So let's take that and put that into our, chair, into our inventory. So I'm actually going to move my bed for this now, because what I'd like to do is I'd like to set up my little uh, enchanting corner inside my house, because it's a little bit safer. And we're probably going to put it about here for now. There is a reason for that. I'm leaving a bit of space around the outside here. Because what we might want to do is we might want to increase the power of this thing. Right, so that is us. Let's put our bed down again. Let's pop our bed over here for now. So with our enchanting table, you can right click on it. And as you can see here, you can place a tool on the left hand side. And we can get certain different enchants depending on what level you are, what experience level. And so on. So right now we can see here we have efficiency one, we have unbreaking one, or efficiency one. And you can see obviously what is required here is one lapis and one enchantment level gets you that. Two lapis and two enchantment levels gets you this one, and three lapis and three enchantment levels gets you the bottom. And that's kind of what we're looking at. We are currently on 22 experience points. Um, however, this one at the bottom, yeah we might be able to get, you know, if we want to have efficiency on our tools. But we do need to have some lapis. So luckily, on our little mining adventure, I did tell people to pick this up. The lapis is what we need to pop in. So if we just put this in here, put our tool back in again, so we can put our lapis in, we can get all three enchants. So if we want to go for efficiency one, unbreaking one or efficiency one, we can put that onto our pickaxe. Now, that's what we'll just cover off briefly just now. So what I'm going to do, just at the top of the screen now, we'll talk about each of the different enchants and what you actually should be looking for, especially in the early game of survival. So what we'll do is we'll start off with number one. the Probably the first enchantment that you're probably looking to get, as a suggestion, could be unbreaking. The unbreaking enchantment gives you a chance for an item to avoid, you know, the durability reduction. So what you're doing is when you're mining, the durability of your items is always going down. So what we want to do is if we put unbreaking onto our tools, that will then prevent them from breaking a little bit quicker. Now, the way in which it works, it obviously differs between uh, unbreaking one, two, and three. So if you have unbreaking one, it'll obviously have a better durability than not having it at all. But if you have unbreaking three, it will certainly double the efficiency from everything we've had before. So unbreaking one will double the efficiency of a tool without it, and unbreaking three doubles the efficiency of even an unbreaking one. So that's quite a considerable increase in productivity without having to go for more diamonds. So number one, you'll want to get unbreaking if you can. The other enchantment that you could be looking for also 
is efficiency. Efficiency is another enchantment that we can put onto things like our pickaxe, because if you are doing a lot of mining, you probably want to be as efficient as possible and mine much, much faster. So efficiency, we have levels one through five. Efficiency one will, will give uh, it's around about on average a 25% increase in productivity in regards to the speed increase. And if you go all the way down to efficiency five, it's plus 45%. So on average, they say um, that's the increase. Those are probably the two uh, enchantings that you're probably wanting to get is either unbreaking and efficiency in the early game. There's a heck of a lot more enchanting available um, and obviously we will hopefully cover those uh, later on in the more advanced topic when we look at leveling up and we also look to increase our enchanting table. So we'll talk about that in a bit. But those are probably the two that I'm looking for very early on, uh, just in the early game. The other ones that are uh, memorable, you know, and, and maybe worth mentioning, uh, so they get honourable mentions, that's the word I was looking for, is Fortune. Uh, fortune is an enchantment that you can apply on to any of your mining tools and it increases the drop rate. So what that basically means, when you're finding diamonds, instead of it just dropping one diamond for one ore block, well, if you have a, a Fortune 1, the max drops is 2. If you use Fortune 2, the max drops is 3. And if you have Fortune 3, the max drop is 4. So you could get 4 diamonds from one block. Mega. That's what you're after. So, fortune, worth a shout, and also mending. Mending is an incredible enchantment you can also put onto your tools as well. That way, you know, your tools are always healing themselves. It is probably overpowered in Minecraft. A lot of people are a bit 50-50 on that resource. However, it does mean that you probably don't ever have to go for diamonds ever again. As long as you have an XP farm, you can get experience points or something like that nature, um, you will probably never ever need to have uh, diamonds ever again. You can just use mending on your tools and they'll automatically replenish themselves when you gain XP. Right, there you go. So they're just four of the, two of the main ones I would say, and two honorable mentions for now. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna cover that in a later episode. We're gonna go into it in a way more detail. Uh, so what we're gonna do just now is we could go for some of the basics. So we could go for efficiency or unbreaking. However, as I said, I'll show you one extra little trick here, all right? So with their enchantment tables, you can actually increase the power of it to give you better enchanting. And you can do that by actually creating bookshelves and placing bookshelves around the outside of your table. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go into a little bit of a quick time lapse just now to gather resources, because we need quite a bit of leather we need quite a bit of paper. And what I'll do is I'll just gather up some of the necessary resources and we'll come back and we'll set this up and show you the different power levels you can get from your enchanting table. So tree, take it away, go have some fun. Right, we're back again. So we have been able to cull some cows and we were also able to get 30 books, or 31 books. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have a look into our inventory now. What we can do is we can create some bookshelves. So at this moment, we only have the ability to create six, but obviously what you can do is you can spend a little bit of time going, gathering more cows, breeding them and getting more leather. And that's what you want to do where absolutely possible at this stage of the game is try and gather cows, gather as much leather as you can to get these bookshelves. Now it's not certainly a necessity and I'm not gonna say that you have to go do that. However, it would certainly make it a little bit easier just for this next part. So let me just show exactly what happens. So once we have our bookshelves, what you can do is you can put them down at least one block away from an enchanting table. Now, once you put them away, you can actually see here, if I put in a tool again, let's just put the axis tie on the right hand side. It's went level one, five and six. And if I just put another one down over here, put a tool back in, two, seven, and eight. Let's put another one over here. Put a tool back in, one, five, 10. This number is increasing. And the larger this number is increases, the more that what we'll be able to get. So, and the better in chance you'll be able to get as well. 
So I've got one more to put down, so I'll just pop this one down to the right hand side. And that's all I have for now. That's going to have to do us. I don't have any more leather. Um, so let me just put the... Oh, oh, this is when I'm messing this up today. Pop that in there. Put that in there. This is perfect. We now have up to a level 12 enchant. The maximum enchant level is actually 30. Uh, you can't get any higher than that. So what you're probably looking to do is try and get your table up to level 30. And I'll just put some uh, demo blocks in here for you. So if I just pop them in the corners, normally what we'd say is normally a little setup like that is normally pretty good. I think it's about there. There we go. And uh, normally this would be the perfect setup for a level 30 enchantment. So for today's episode, let us just enchant some of our basic tools. So hopefully that was helpful. And if anyone has any questions, just pop them down in the chat below. And as we go through the episodes, I will jump into here quite a bit. And when I'm on my YouTube live stream, please feel free to ask questions as we're going along. I'm very happy to help. So I can see here, we can actually put our diamond pickaxe in. What we're going to do here is three lapis and three enchantment levels. And we're going to be able to get efficiency too, which is going to make this pickaxe a lot more efficient when we're down in the mines. So we'll click into here. Lovely. We have our advancement. And if we take that, interestingly, we've not just got efficiency two, but we also got fortune one which is something that can happen. Now that's actually really good for us. I was not expecting that. They are a bit random, but it is hard to say when, you know, when you're actually going to get those sort of things. But that is it. Enchantment has been done with efficiency and fortune. I'm super excited. It's hard to tell on a video, but awesome. And what you can do is we have 20 levels left. You can see that at the bottom there, we have 20. And what we could do is we could actually keep going with some of our tools to see the kind of things that we can get. So interestingly, when you put your tools in here, guys, you don't have to put them in and just take whatever is there. So for example, the, the sword here is giving me Sweeping Edge 2, which is a very good sword, and I'll probably end up taking that. However, you can put in your other tools and see what it gives you. I'll just change it over to a hole. Same thing. And finally to the shovel. And each one will potentially give you a different enchantment for that tool. So you can see here, if you took Sweeping Edge 2, that would then reset the board and it would mean that any enchants that were on the other ones, they would be lost and it would be changing. So every single time you do something on your enchantment table, the enchants will change every single time. So just be careful of that. So right now the best way I can see is sweeping edge two on my sword. However, little things you can check here is you can actually put books in guys. Um, let me just drop a book in and you can get blast protection, impaling and power one. So you can put books in as well to help you to get other enchants. But at the moment, we'll just focus on our tools. I'm actually going to take Sweeping Edge 2 because it's a very good one to get quite early. Um, and that'll help us with getting rid of some of the enemies around about our area. So that's going to increase our sword. So we'll take that, put that on, and we'll just keep going. Shovel, efficiency, efficiency. I'm okay with efficiency. But let's just check our axe. Yeah, efficiency 2. That's efficiency 2 as well. So that's pretty good. And our hoe. Yeah, efficiency too as well. So, so what we could probably do is we could go for the axe. I'm okay with efficiency on that. I'll take that. We'll put our hoe in. We're running out of levels. Eh, we'll go for probably unbreaking on this one. That'll do so it doesn't break as quick. And lastly, our shovel. And uh, we'll take efficiency too. Perfect. So you can spend a little bit of time going through your tools and getting on some enchants. Now, where possible, I'd say you're looking for efficiency and unbreaking. Efficiency and unbreaking are probably the two key ones that you want for your pickaxe, your axe, your shovel, and your hoe. So the last little thing we'll do for today then, let's just check our armor real quick while we can. Helmet, what are we getting? Protection, oh, protection too, but unfortunately now, we don't have enough levels required to do that. So you can see at the bottom, we are only at level nine. For us to be able to get that enchantment, we must be level 12 or higher. Unfortunately, we are not. So the only enchantment we'll be able to get here is the second one, which is level eight or higher. So we can get one more enchant today. And then what we'll probably do on the stream on Sunday, um, I think I'm streaming on Sunday. I'll confirm it on the social media. So just down below, You'll see all the information in regards to our Discord, social media. If I am streaming this weekend on YouTube, I will let you know there. But let's have a look. What have we got that we could maybe put on as one last enchant for today? Not very much. Nothing that intrigues me. Let's try a book. Not very much either. It could be... 
protection we take or we just leave it. We might just leave it and try and get higher levels. So I'm going to leave my those just now. None of those kind of seem to tickle my interest. So we'll keep on our, our armor. We've got some of our basic tools and you can see our sword is now glowing. Woo, perfect. Right. So I think that'll be enough for today's episode. I don't think this one will be too much of a long one. But what we've been able to do is cover off a lot of our enchanting. So we've got all of our diamond tools, all of our diamond armor. We've been able to get an enchantment table. And we basically just walked through just some of the basics of putting on a chance. Now the enchants are not... You have to go see that guy. Um, there's a wandering trader in the corner. So the enchants that we have on are okay. And what we're going to do later on in the episodes, you'll see in my Discord I have detailed the, what the episodes are going to be. We're going to actually have a look at other abilities and how to get a lot more better equipment by taking advantage of this village. So we're going to do that in the not too distant future. We're going to go across to that village and we're going to use the villagers to trade with to get the books and enchants that we want. An enchantment table is a good way to go. However, if you want very specific things, we can use the villagers to our advantage. So we'll look forward to that in the future. But if there's any enchants you guys like would like me to put onto my tools, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to give them a go and put them onto our tools. And if anyone has any names or suggestions for the names of the tools, we can do that as well. I'll be happy to create an anvil and we can name these tools after some of the members of the community that comment on this post in our YouTube series. But before we head off, we, we have a wandering trader. What have we got? Oh, glowstones. Daisies, sugar cane, and a bucket of tropical fish. The only thing that really interests me is a glowstone, but unfortunately we don't actually have many emeralds, if none at all at this point in the game, sadly. Um, it's not something we have been gathering. I'll have a quick check. I don't think we've found any so far. No, we haven't actually came across any. So unfortunately we're not going to buy anything from the wandering trader today. However, that is a good place for me to end this short episode. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the shorter episodes. I have been trying to reduce these where absolutely possible. Um, so we'll end it here for today. So thank you very much. My name is Bean Tree. Uh, thank you very much for watching my survival series. And uh, I'll catch us all in the next one. Uh, so in the next episode, what we're going to be looking at is a little, you know, inside scoop. You know, I can give you a little inside scoop to the next episode. Um, is we're going to be building our first XP farm. Yep, you can see we need our levels to be up. So that's going to be the plan for the live stream. So hopefully you guys can catch me in the live stream. All the information will be down below for that. Um, but what we'll be doing is we'll be building an XP farm in our live stream uh, for our time lapse that we'll be putting on our next episode. So hopefully you guys can catch us in, in the live stream. If not, I'll see you in the next episode where we're building an XP farm. Till then. See you all later.